Beloved, welcome to my diary. I'm Tatami. Today, we're going to bring it back because we've already talked about Diane Feinstein. This was years ago, though. Years ago. Remember, this was when Zuckerberg was trying to defend Facebook, I think. I'm pretty sure because I do remember that this situation was tech related. This is when I first got my eyes on Diane Feinstein. Like, what is going on here? Because remember, she was reading questions to ask about Facebook or ask about technology, social media, something. And she asked the question, got the answer, and then asked the exact same question verbatim again. And I remember being like, oh, hold up, because she didn't pause where you or I or most people would pause when they realize they're reading the same thing again, right? If you're rereading the same paragraph by accident, if you start at this wrong part of the speech that you had already read, most of us would kind of stop, pause, and skip back so we're not rereading the same huge amount of content again. But she didn't do that. And so I couldn't tell quite in that moment if she either really couldn't tell that she had just repeated herself twice in the same amount of like three minutes or if she was reading questions that had vocabulary that was so foreign to her because she's that you know not tech savvy that she couldn't understand what she was reading there wasn't a comprehension so maybe that was what it was you know like if I had to reread the same sentence in another language I might not notice or if I was reading words that were from another like you know some sector I didn't understand that involved like a lot of tools or jargon that I didn't understand but even then I had a nagging feeling that wasn't it because most of us would realize if we were struggling through the same word we just struggled through so I realized that this might be an age thing and that's when you know over the last the like next few months I learned that she was having trouble with her staff like she'd be screaming at her staff about like not telling her about things but they'd be like no we definitely told you about this she was like so there was like abuse going on towards her staff and then there was also the issue that like Pelosi and those didn't really want to let her go and so what really got me for that situation several years ago was that I was thinking but who in her family is agreeing to this and why why would Diane Feinstein's family I mean she's had years and years of service she's already made a lot of money she has a lot of assets why wouldn't they let her re retire quietly why would they let her continue to be used even when she's basically a shell of a person and she's just there to ca cast her vote even when she can. Now she can't. See, before she could show up and be a body, but now it's more obvious because she can't physically be there. But then she exposed herself by not remembering that she wasn't physically there this whole time. Or maybe she doesn't feel like it was that long of a time. I, I, I at certain times of the year, that wouldn't be as as bad of a time. But, you know, like maybe people wouldn't have noticed three months. Maybe she's done this before. And because of the time of year, people just didn't notice it as much. Um, but at any rate, I've always been thinking this. There's some kind of like elder abuse, right, going on in the background here. Not just like because Pelosi can't surely have that much power over Diane Feinstein's family. Somebody in Diane Feinstein's family is complicit for the use of her like this when she should be retired somewhere, right? We said this years ago, three years ago. I've been saying this every few months to random people in my life. I think I said it to my landlord when we went to the DMV like months ago. Like she was like, oh, I think I think Biden should retire because he's too old. I was like, girl, it's not just about age. It's about like ability. Diane Feinstein, Feinstein should be out before Biden. is. If Biden's out, Diane Feinstein should have been out, right? And that's what's so sad is who's making her do this, how, for why, who's the one who's taking her to these places, escorting her on the airplane, um, making sure she gets where she's supposed to go. Who in her family is doing that? Who's paying for the um, nanny or whatever that nurse, whatever the person is who might be doing it for her? I don't know. Um, but it's But it's been on my mind for years. I've just been so busy, you know, I haven't been posting... I haven't been able to get a lot of these thoughts out because I've been just, you know, 
unable and capable. And so it's funny to me that now it's like coming out because she isn't able to perform her duties. But there's been a lot of signs over the last like five or so years that really show that this has been a long time in the making. And I really wonder when that information is going to come out. If somebody's going to speak about it, if somebody knows something in the family, because something is supremely abnormal. It, it's just so sad to me. You know, I almost don't even care about the politics of it. I do care about the politics of it. I think somebody else should be there. I would hope that it would be somebody a lot more progressive than her. But I also feel like because of how how much people have been feeling failed here in California, I can't really hold out much hope for that. Um, you know, it feels like we pour a lot of money into stuff, but it also feels like that money either just doesn't get spent or it gets spent inappropriately. So it's really difficult, you know, to to want those things when I just, I, I fear when this, the seat is lost that it's going to go to Republicans or to somebody a lot more centrist and, basically right wing because you know it is a failure when you have somebody for five years who can't even remember if she's put something on the schedule that that severely impacts how the constituents are treated and then that impacts what they want to do so it's almost like it was a very much always going to be a lose-lose for Pelosi for the Democrats because you keep putting her in there and how long did you think you were going to be able to do this at what point did you think it was going to be appropriate to find somebody to groom and put into that role because they've already missed their window. That should have happened like 10 years ago. Somebody should have been getting groomed for that role if that's what they really wanted. So it's like, it's just too late. It's really sad. It's mostly the sad elder abuse portion of it that makes me really sad because I don't really understand that. I'm If she can't consent to so many things, if she can't really say any of those things, if she can't even have like coherent conversations with people, with the news, she can't remember what she's been doing for the last few weeks. You know, what's going on? Who's in charge? Like, this is really a situation like that. Who the hell is in charge? It's just so sad. Anyway, I'm going to wrap that one up. May your ancestors and spirit guides be with you at every crossroads. I'd love to hear what you think. And I'll see you next time.